there's one thing that's stopping you from having your end game audio set up. Let's talk about it. You can probably hear this, it's raining outside. I have the windows open just a little bit, so you guys will pick up a little bit of what I'm hearing. Now, just like most other hobbies, just like anything you enjoy, audio is a treadmill. More specifically speaking, it's the hedonic treadmill. If you're not familiar with this, it's essentially that our bodies, our brains like to equalize. Audio is just a stimulation of some kind, and as it is with any other stimulation, eventually your body wants to level out. It wants to take any baseline of enjoyment and kind of make that the new baseline, whether it's a downgrade or an upgrade. Here's a good example. This is the Odyssey LCD 2.2 from 2012 and it has Odyssey's old vegan pads on it, the ones they don't make anymore. I think this headphone with this pad is one of the best on the planet and it kills me that it's no longer available. I love this headphone so much and if I listen to it every day it will lose its magic almost completely. It is really getting windy out there. The same is true with almost anything else in my collection and hence why I have a collection. No one is immune to this. If you use a piece of equipment over and over again every single day non-stop, it's gonna lose its charm a little bit to you, just because if you use it all the time it's hard to really appreciate it. And many people have said the biggest difference they notice is when they use a nicer piece of gear and they go back to the older, less good piece of gear they had before that. And that's because they'd equalized out and gotten used to that nicer piece of gear. So the big thing I feel like that is stopping everyone from having their true endgame setup is really their use of it. A lot of people buy mid-fi, or we call it mid-fi headphones, that are honestly fantastic. Things like this, the HD650, which I have a 6XX sitting over there, the Bayer DT900 Pro X, the HD560S, the Harmonic Dyn Zeus, many others. These are all headphones that are really, really good. People will love them. And eventually, over time, they start to look for upgrades. I think, well, I need to buy something new. I need that upgrade. This isn't really giving me that magic I was after, and it probably did for a little while. They probably bought that new headphone, and for a while they were like, wow, this is exactly what I was looking for, re-listening to all their music and getting that rush that your brain gives you, that release of serotonin, saying, wow, this is, this is something new. Then you catch up to the treadmill. You level out and you're at a jogging pace again. And then it's time to upgrade again, look for something new. Which there's nothing wrong with that, it's nice to swap through a bunch of things. I mean, I do the same thing, that's why I have a collection of headphones, that's why I have a collection of speakers. You know, I'll put a speaker out into the room, and then a couple months later I'll swap it for another one and put that one back in the closet. And then a couple months later I'll swap them back out again. And it always keeps it fresh. Every time I pull these speakers back out, I'm like, ah, oh, that. That is why I own that speaker. That's why I love that speaker. And the same goes with many of these headphones. If I sit down and people say, well, what's your daily driver? I have to say, okay, well, the ones I use the most are probably my LCDs, the HD800S, the HD650 slash 6XX, and the Aeon Noir. Those are probably the ones that I use the most often on a daily basis, unless I'm playing a video game, then I'm using the PC38X, or if I'm working on something, say audio editing, I'm probably using the DT700 Pro X, or if I'm listening to vinyl, I might be using the SR 325X, uh, or I might be using my Dianas, so it's like, it's kind of a lot of things. There's no exact answer to that. The closest thing I have to an everyday daily driver is probably the HD650, because I think that gets more use than anything, but then I might be using the K361 for some reason. And keeping the rotation up, even between just a couple of headphones, I really feel like prolongs the life and enjoyment out of them. And my biggest piece of advice I would say is don't chase the constant upgrades because, gosh, I, I could make a whole video about that. Let's, we'll circle back to that in another video. Don't chase the constant upgrades. You don't need to buy every hype train item that comes out. I guarantee that that new $200 headphone isn't going to be 20 times better than your current $200 headphone. It's not gonna be twice as good as your current $200 headphone unless you just happen to have a really really bad headphone. Which the odds are, if you keep up with this stuff enough to have that upgrade itch and see those new things, you probably already have a decent headphone. Build a small collection, cycle through some things. They don't even have to be expensive. Cycle through just a couple of things. Let your brain kind of reset. This is like your, your hi-fi shower. You gotta cleanse it out. Like if you have the HD6XX and you get the K361, use that K361 for a week straight, and then go back to the 6XX, you're gonna be like, damn, this 6XX is really detailed. But likewise, when you go back to that K361, it's like, wow, this little closed back headphone is really well tuned. You appreciate the qualities more 
when you take breaks from them. It's like if you have like some really good friends and you hang out with them and it's all day long. That's just a great time. At the end of the day, you want to go home or you, know, you hang out with people for a couple of days. And after that, you love them. They're great. You need some time to yourself. It is the same thing with audio, but you probably don't recognize it as much. I've been out of town recently. I have a lot of videos to catch up on, but I have some really, really good news coming soon. Part of that is that I'm putting a lot more time into this channel. And by that I mean I'm shifting things over. I want this to become kind of my main job. It kind of already is. Um, but instead of going into the office four days a week for my day job, I'm going to be going into the office a couple days a week. And the rest of my week is going to be dedicated to making these videos. So that'll be good. That means there's a lot more videos on the way. If you're not already subscribed, get subscribed. What are you doing? Click that little button down there. It helps out a lot. We're building a community here. Come on. Anyway, that is going to wrap this one up. I'll have some reviews coming in the near future. Until then, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like down below, a comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at forum.hifiguides.com. And as always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Till next one, guys. Peace.